Yes, yeah, that, that's the part of that. Yeah, it's online. Class Yeah. All right, so it's six o'clock. Where is your call, bro? Miss Tremell. Here. Miss Curtis. Here. Leith Thomas. Mr. Brandon. Here. Mr. Reagan. Here. Mr. Gannon. Chris Alexander. Diane Hickman. Here. Douglas Jennings. Here. Derek Mullins, Acting Chairman. Chairman, you have a call. And two members absent. Or, I'm sorry, three members absent. I'm here, but absent. Sorry, sorry, yeah. Yeah. sorry, Mr. Mac Mac. It's I was going about a clip, a clip on that. So. Uh, we have no agenda tonight. Could use my here's my sheet. I should have used it. So. Not only we had a workshop with the board, board of education. Mm -hmm. on the, uh, and I requested, had requests from all the supervisors and teachers. And we heard a lot from them. I don't know if any of you can watch that video if you listen here. Um, I know one thing that I heard from everybody is that it's one thing I've heard. Um, really? And the, only, the other thing I heard, me personally, what I've gathered, everybody wants all the phone bills, copiers, and all that stuff paid. Uh, it's not much. The school's not having to pay for it. Each school has paid for the phone bill, copier, and all that stuff. So, we had some wants and wishes, but I, we didn't have really no big wants and wishes that I really think for anybody. There's more over a request if we had the money. And in South, the biggest thing they wish was for a staff bathroom, full-time SRO and full-time counselor, Cannon Elementary, a full-time counselor, um, full-time SRO, Cannon North was funding for phone copier and DTC fax bills. Possible help with playground, dirt for swing sets, full-time counselor, full-time SRO. Uh, they will be accepting 50 to 75 extra kids next year per zone request. Uh, Canyon Middle, full-time librarian for the middle school. Um, Full-time art teacher. They would like to have an attendance clerk. That was a wish, she said. Um, phone bill and copier. And also a classroom for ISS and junior lines. I think it was all of us, really. For alternative school. And then the high school was copier and phone bills. A chemistry teacher, a driver's ed teacher, a Spanish teacher, a weight training teacher. Or weight training class, criminal justice, and possible and computer science is 
when? 2025. 24, 25, yes, we have to have a computer science teacher. Uh, full time custodian, they've had an opening for almost a year now. They request, won't, would like to see an expansion on a concession stand, legacy hall floor replaced in the high school. The baseball field needs one more pole and safety nets for foul balls and floors in the bathrooms for middle hall and bottom hall. They have all new stalls that they want to try to get the floors done before. Lisa the Black with transportation had requested another person for Skyward. She said there would be no extra salary. She um, had someone in mind on that. So I know we talked about data, a new data person altogether. Uh, there's some cameras that are outdated and need to be replaced on the buses. They're about 10 years old. I think I gathered that up. Um, this year, next coming up here may be a little heavy on tires for buses, but she thinks she can get some in this year's budget. Mm. Jennifer Ansdale with food services that she will be able to afford out of her budget the pay scale increase that we set last year nothing coming from the gp and her only wish was new tables at cannon element lunch tables at cannon elementary and cannon north if we were able to and middle i got middle and north was there another one yeah. did she say south and i thought cannon middle and cannon north mm -hmm. Or was it just middle? I think it was just middle. Oh, it's probably Canada Elementary, probably. Canada Elementary, again. I'm sorry. Good. Good. Michael Medford was the phone bills for all the schools to be paid and copiers by the board. Wants his department on a pay scale, which we're, that's on us as well, but we'd like to see that. Technology. His technology trainer, Mr. Jackie Berger, is getting paid by Esther through May this year. He would like to keep her if we can and he would like to add a line item in his budget for safety cameras and door safeties so right so right and access control i was right now he's got i think he sent that to y'all too y'all got it uh miss bonnie patterson with safety y'all um he didn't mention that line he did then email he brought that up yeah uh, miss bonnie uh she could always need a nurse for sure um she would like to see two more counselors full-time um a full-time safety director slash attendant supervisor um and then miss alexander all her stuff is answer uh miss julie benson and oh and miss alexander have y'all y'all received the emails and walked those back out of esther right miss julie benson <coughs> exceptional learners um her just half grand half gp um she didn't really have nothing but she had requested possibly to into a behavioral analysis person and then Ms. Mullins, the federal, you have the pre-K director of federal programs, hers is all federal. And Ms. Marsha Melton, the provider of instruction, was really won't say data person. Says we need or says that in her opinion we need a full-time data person. And then Ms. Melanie says on for facilities had no request. Said that she could Get by with the manpower she has right now, and she was down to six. I do think that she probably she didn't say it the other night because it was kind of an emotional time for her, but her to say probably the same as Medford. Her her guys aren't any kind of pay scale. Yeah, she didn't mention she that, that, that she would need to be on this bill. With Mr. Medford, I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Yeah. I don't understand the weight. The weight lifting program at the high school because my grandson's been lifting weights all year. Well, that's what I thought. I thought they already had a weight. Well, 
Yeah, we because kind of not it in any I place. know, like, my daughter goes there, and I know she had to pick up, like, you know, half of a pea. She was like, Mama, I can take half pea or half white lifted. And I was like, I think you should stick with pea. They are doing something. So, they are doing some, but I think he would like it instead of just being part of the PE church coach's responsibility. Oh, so the PE coach. Yeah, okay. I mean, I would think we need to focus on chemistry teacher. That really yeah. bothered me, honestly, that we don't have a chemistry driver's teacher. Driver's ed. Yes, driver's ed is. And I was surprised. Maybe pretty mm -hmm. enlightening on that. That ain't something you pick up in the summertime certification form. That's a lot of hours. No, that's a lot of hours right now. Well, that I think it's probably the only one certified driver's ed. I'd get to look through my thing, but it was Roger Haley, I think, is the only one certified, like that, how much of a certified in the system. Uh, yeah, basketball yeah. coach was, and he, of course, left. But that's the only one I think I've got in the system right now that has driver's ed certification, is Mr. Haley. And that, that's something, you know. You know, that is very, very important. So we're not getting ready to talk about the SROs if y'all you know, want to do that. <clears throat> and some on driver's head, we're going to have a new car, correct? Well, that's that's another thing I see on driver's head. Uh, WJX, how old is that car? Yes. By the way, I, when my car went south, I have been driving it just to keep making sure that everything's going on because it's been sitting for quite a while so i have been i have been driving by the way i have i do have i have got another vehicle so but the driver's ed car is 135,000 miles 2005 taurus i believe purchased from jennings motors and that's probably one of the few oh. jennings motors plates i've ever I've seen I like the well that's why it lasted so long ain't that right? <laughs> <laughs> but I've been I've been trying to use it. I was trying to use it just to keep you know making sure because you let a car sit, you know, you know what's going to happen. When it's gone. They're going to go down. So I've been using a little bit. I transferred it to the director of schools for a few for a few weeks. But it's uh, it's 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 a good, it's a decent car, yes. But it is so outdated. In a few years, in two years, you can qualify for antique plates. I believe what twenty at twenty years you can do antique plates. So. <laughs> And, and we've talked about, uh, Mr. Nichols and I have talked about uh, in the past uh, going Nissan because we have so many people that work in Nissan in County County mm -hmm. approaching them because county schools, they do provide them driver's ed car. I know Smart High School does and others. So, you know, you could go to Nissan and say, hey, we've got X amount of employees that, that we know students here in our school system. That work for Nissan, and I think if you did that for them, I think they they would probably be approaching that. Uh, so I would I would suggest if we get drivers in if we try to find them, and they have to they have to install a br another brake on the side is what they do. Uh, it's interesting when I'm driving it, looking it over, and seeing that brakes so that that is over on the passenger side. Panic brake. It is. It is in case something more. <laughs> Were to occur that the instructor could uh, could take control of the vehicle, and you know, just in my stint at the high school, I did see some interesting uh, drivers, drivers ed car, and they, they they did good. I, I would always ask uh, whoever's teaching drivers ed how it was going, and you know, they never did say that it, they just felt for their life at any time. They had to take control a few times, but Derek is exactly right that you're going to have to get a new car. At some point, the driver's ed. Yeah. Um, chemistry teacher, Mr. Nichols said he had someone interested in that if we did, correct? Yes, yes. he did say that. I that was willing to come on board. Um, I can't imagine, I mean, chemistry is not easy, and I can't imagine having to do that online. And then, too, you're missing out. I know way back in the 90s when I took chemistry with Miss Arnold. Um, you know, you you did labs like you're missing out on labs and things like that. So I mean, it's more of a hands-on. The, the nice lawyer yeah. does have virtual labs, but that's still not the same. Yeah, when you're the, same. Yeah. the reactions and going in and you've got this chemical that you've got to do in certain amounts. It, it, it's hard to it's hard to do that. Um, so I think that's 
but you would still probably have to still have to use some of the nice longer funding for uh, physics mm -hmm. because everybody's not going to take chemistry because of their requirements for whatever they want to major in. You know so, that one of your options would be differentiated pay plan. Well, what's being done now is not the way it has to be done. That is a way it can be done. Another way it can be done is take that money and put it in hard to stay on positions. So you've got probably 100,000 at least that you could add to what's hard to stay on positions. Positions but you'd have to have some pretty strong guidelines because you might say, well, we need a math teacher at high schools and we're going to give them. Two thousand dollars more a year over the pay scale. Said, "Well, we going to teachers that you've got there now that are math teachers. Mm -hmm. You'd have to have some pretty good guidelines, but that is well, an option for that money. You don't have to do it just like it's being done now. It can it can be used for that. Well, that would be a good option too if we could find a Spanish teacher. Um, hard to find. And well, every, here. I, we, I, before I was at this week at the legislative committee, you know, you hear." Directors throughout the cover and across the state that are that are friends, and I was asking them about vacancies. They were doing question kind of question answer about vacancies. Just about every system needs a chemistry teacher and a Spanish teacher. Whether you're big, small, middle, every just about everyone was had vacancies for chemistry and Spanish. I think legislature needs to needs to uh, it's the Department of Education. He's pony up and say, okay, if you're talking about growing your own and, and doing that, I think if you could you could just about grow your own right now with chemistry and Spanish and offer if you you know a full you know a full ride at a state school if they would go into chemistry and Spanish. If we hire a chemistry teacher, do they still are they still going to have the option to take physics online? That's what Mr. Nichols will have to be faced with, probably, yes. Because you're going to have to offer, because there are some majors in, in college that require physics instead of chemistry, and or both. I mean, there are many programs like pre-med and, and some of the, the science stuff that you've got to have both physics and chemistry as part of your prerequisites. So we have a physics teacher, correct? We did, but she retired. We don't know more. That's what he was saying other night. Spanish, physics, and chemistry. Ms. Dawson retired. Oh, okay. Out of those, I think 225 kids we've got. Yes, in those three, we had to add those. Uh, we had to we had to modify that this past year because we couldn't find chemistry, and we and the Spanish teacher left us last year, and so we've had to put Spanish as online. But I'd certainly rather do Spanish online as chemistry online. Well, yeah. I'm just I'm telling you from us. Social studies guy. Uh, I'm just telling you that I'm going to do Spanish any days online. Where's the money you're talking about, Douglas? Sir, what, what, what was the money you were just talking about? The differentiated pay plan money comes out of line 188. It's several places on the budget. But the, the biggest one is 71100. 188. Um, yes, we do. The bonus where it says bonus payments. Okay. That is if your if your LOE is above. And Dr. Wilton and I have talked about this. That probably needs to be looked at by the board to be completely revamped. And you have to submit your differentiated play plan to the state, and they have to approve that plan. And that's one of the reasons we've done for the last couple three years. We've resubmitted it to the state. Called uh, uh, meetings. You know, I've, I've, had, I've heard different districts get up and tell how their differentiated pay, differentiated pay plan worked. And I don't know that any two are the same. I mean, but you know, we were able to, or Mr. Curtis or whoever was able to come up with a plan that we've got. You know, but they, they didn't give us any extra money to do it. Mm -hmm. So we had to use existing funds to do it. And, and that plan was a variant from several years back. It's what that plan is. It's evolved over time to be what it is. So I think it'd be a good time for the board to relook at that yeah. and see what you would like to do. But that's going to be presented, I think, in maybe April, May time frame for the next school year. And the state has to approve what you're doing. Only 80 was budgeted and is doing 30 left in the 
We're through paying. Okay. You're, saying, you're saying we should start out more than 80 in the budget. You said 100. Well, there's other places in the budget where it oh, shows up. not the only place. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, and the reason we paid out less this year, I'm, I'm guessing that some people may not have earned it. And also, previously, we went back and paid people that had left us because it's based on the year before, what happened the year before. We did not pay that this time. So, if you left us, you didn't get it. And I made an executive decision on that to say, if you left this system, you've left this system. If you choose to leave the system, you choose to leave that. And you didn't earn that because you didn't stay with us. If you leave a job, you, a year. you, you lose that bonus, right? I don't want to be a ticket in love with what they're getting on this budget. Mm -hmm. All right. We better dive into it tonight because I'm tired. Well, that's just what we discussed the other night. So, right. where we all kind of. I appreciate that. that. I wasn't trying to. Let, let me say to you uh, right. a, couple, be a, couple, a couple of things on, that I learned this week. If you don't care, it's this good time, Mr. Chairman. Uh, on TISA, uh, we still don't have solid numbers. If I heard anything once, I heard it probably 250 times. It's, this week, this past week was, when are we going to hear the numbers? Commissioner was there. He got a pretty cool reception from the uh, from the superintendents. And, and, and a lot of it was about TISA. SRO was another one, but TISA was one where they were, they were after quite a bit. And Marianne Dursky, I can stop Marianne because here's the situation there. I was hoping Marianne would be with us tonight and that she could that she could be here and and they she was already scheduled already had her down i'm on it Mr. Chris will do either zoom or i'll come live and that got yanked by the commissioner that anybody going out to do any kind of talks about tisa had to be approved by the communications office and so i sent I don't know, probably seven or eight emails to the to that particular person saying, Marianne's come to us for the last several years, ever since I've been director. Marianne's came or via Zoom during COVID. She's been talking to you about the BEP. I said, why 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 not now? They said, Well, there's gonna be some changes and they hope to have it out by you know April 15th is what I've been told lately. And they the communications director, I stopped her. I went to her right after the commissioner's little diatribe there with the other directors and went directly to, to, to Joseph Crawford and said, okay, why don't you have, have you answered my emails? I said, I need her Thursday night. Well, Mr. Curse, there's been a change in the department. And, of course, they were dealing with the school shooting. And I was giving grace on that. But she said, I promise that I will have either Sam Piercy or and Mary Ann, or and or Mary Ann Dursky um, to your and talk to your board. So she's promised that. When that's going to be, I don't know. I said, well, I not. And here's one of the big things too that was that was to the commissioner was saying our budget is due to the county commission by May 15th by law. We need to know something before April 15th, even because our budgets are trying. We're working on budgets right now. Not waiting around, and it was Mr. Basically home hauled around that and didn't really say that. Well, we're trying to do this, but the legislature's doing this, but you know, but this is not touched by the legislature at all. Zero. I thought it was going to be touched, and I was fixing to raise a big stink about that, but it was not. The what it was doing was the two percent. If you have a lot of growth in your district, you get two percent money. That's outside of TISA, that's not inside of TISA. And that, that came up big time. Uh, the salary bill is going through the legislature. That's going to pass, folks. That we're at 50000 in four years, but we're already four years behind with the council. But you can already preach about this one a bunch. And, um, you're, but, and for this budget right now, tonight, 22000 Look it. I would strongly suggest to you in my final budget here to you, I wouldn't just do 42. I talked to multiple directors, and they're doing percentages, very similar to this, like what we used to do. 
on the percentage to percentages of either giving a 3% or a 2% or a 4% for teachers. And with the two, with, with we're at 40,000 right now, we've got to go to 42. If there's any way we could use this new money coming in, I would, I would strongly advise 45. I know that's not a pretty popular deal, but how much new money you got coming in? We do not know, Terry. That's the problem. That's the problem. Now, in March, in March of last year, we got an estimation of one point three million dollars. That's the last estimate that we got on new money coming in was one point three. And I talked to other directors, and they said the problem with that figure is. How do you do all this other stuff you have to do? Then it's look, you're looking at four or five hundred thousand dollars is all. So if we don't know how much, I would use a contingency there that if we do get 1.3 and it's all 1.3, that's not claimed. But I'm, a, I'm afraid that's going to be a lot of that's going to be already claimed about what you've got to do. Douglas, have y'all, Diane, have y'all heard anything on your end, on the finance end, about the estimates for TISA? No more than what you have. <clears throat> and so, Terry, I wish I could tell you that we have to get this point for you. Uh, I we don't know that. This is to the finance department. Uh, this information that, that you provided here. Um, why is it you think that consistently from 2017 through 2020, that's this year, the end of this year, we consistently run two, sometimes three million dollars actual ending fund balance compared to our estimated fund balance? Why is there such a differentiation there? Well, to the first lady, the MOE yeah. can stay the same, even though we did receive more money. And the deck can stay the same. But also, you know, over most budgets are overestimated, and then you end up not spending it all. Well, that's the answer I was looking for. Uh, you know, it seems as though we over uh, budget. Uh, a number of things, particularly uh, if you look through this this information that Diane provided you, uh, you know we're averaging uh, a six percent overage for the last five years. Six percent for the five years, or six percent a year? Average. Now, you know. Mr. Curtis talked about extra funding of 1.3 to 1.4 million dollars, uh, and we're overfunding our teachers end of the uh, budget uh, consistently overfunding it. Uh, next year, uh, we're having to deal with uh, absorbing uh, a number of ESSER positions that are funded currently now by ESSER, right? And so we need to consider, I mean, I, I hear all of these requests, we want this, we want right. this, we want this, we want that. Uh, I also hear, and you know, we're here to, uh, to do a budget. And we're here to do what's best for our school system and our kids. That's what we're here for. Uh, you know, I... I, I I think that there is a, uh, and I, <clears throat> I brought this up before, but I listened to the commissioner meeting, and I listened to it several times. And what the commission wants to hear from the Board of Education is plain. Now, we have not given them a plan. Now, I don't know how long y'all are going to take to give them a plan, but if you want to get cooperation out of the commission, you're going to have to give them a plan. Uh, and I know this is something y'all 
struggle over, but you're going to have to do it. I mean, this is y'all's job. You got to come up with a plan. Now, uh, I just say, you know, I, I, I know that the commission is struggling with uh, having to figure out how to build a jail. Uh, they know they can't use wheel tax money. Uh, you know, we don't know if we're going to have a wheel tax or not, but, but I, you know, the, the cards are on the table. If you don't have a wheel tax, you're going to have increased taxes. And we sure would really need to have uh, an increase in our sales tax. I mean, come on. Everybody in the world here, everybody here goes, goes to Rutherford County and buys and pays sales tax. I mean, why not pay it here too and, 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 and help ourselves? Uh, I mean, that's that's politics, but, but I mean, come on, folks. You know, mm -hmm. it's rigged. Mm -hmm. This is rigged. Uh, so if they do with it, wheel tax, I mean, the only other option they've got is to raise property taxes. And I guarantee you, when they do that, you're going to wish you paid that wheel tax because your property tax will be a whole lot more than that $40 wheel tax. Now, I don't, y'all can't go to the commission and preach that. Y'all can't do it. I mean, I, I could go and do it because I, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm sort of neutral in this. But, but it, it's silly to me. It's just silly that, that, that we can't get together because we're all in it together. You know, this is our community. These are our kids. And whether they're county commissioners or they're school board members, they're our kids. And that's what we've got to be dealing with here. And so we need to make a plan. You know, are we going to go to three schools? If we're going to go to three schools, how are we going to do it? We know we don't have the money to, to build a new school. And everybody would love to build a new school. Well, the county commission's got the same problem we've got, and that is can't find any land. Can't find any land to build jail. I don't know why they build it in a, in, in, in a flood zone anyway. But they, <laughs> they can't expand it because it's in a flood zone. So how did they get the money to, to build it in the first place? My time. <laughs> I mean, I, I, don't, I don't understand that. But it's been mentioned that maybe they could use one of the schools as a jail. <clears throat> That's been mentioned. Uh, well, if we're going to come out with a plan, you know, we need to come out with a plan. We know we don't have the money to build a new middle school. Would everybody agree with it? I agree with that. Uh, so uh, we're going to have to pick. We're going to have to pick one of the two. Uh, we're going to have to pick north or south as a middle school. We're going to have to do that. And you're going to have to pick the one that's going to give you the most opportunity to do the things you want to do. Uh, and uh, that's up to y'all, but it seems to me as though the one that has the most classrooms already has the most land is the the South, uh, Cam South. What? Right? Okay. yes. All right, so, so you're going to end up with one less school. Now, I understand that uh, there's some uh, there's some dispute over who owns the land at Westside. I don't know if you've got that worked out or not. Okay, yeah. All right. Well, uh, you know, you can fuss all day long about it, but it's our county and it's all the same pot. Uh, it's our kids. I mean, we need to go ahead and get something done, and we need to be able to. Give a plan to the commission so that they can get on board with what we want to do and they can figure out what they're going to do. We need to do that. And we're running out of time. Running out of time. And that, that's, that's my lecture for the night. To this <laughs> fine forward right here. But, I mean, really, uh, we, we need to do this. And, and we, there's money. There is money in this budget for us to hire some extra teachers and to do some things we want to do. It's there. Would you agree? I mean, so let's make some decisions and let's do it. What is your thought on the um, the increase in the teacher pay scale? Well, uh, I mean, obviously, if the state mandates 42, we're going to have to go to 42. But now Freddie suggested 45. And I, I don't know if you got 45. I don't know if 45 is going to. I don't think you're going to do it with 45. I just. Well, let me let me say this. Um, Rutherford County is doing a study. They're going to be probably close to fifty. Is what they're already. We're already four years behind it. We'll never be that. I understand. 
But DeKalb's already 47, 48. Warren's probably going to be somewhere in the 46, 47 area. Putnam is 48, all written going to 48. I confirmed that with our director uh, day before yesterday. So I, I, you never want to be the donut hole. You know what I'm, what I'm saying is if we get everybody around, I talked to Wilson County with, uh, with uh, Jeff Lutcher yesterday, and he said he's having to go up to somewhere in the 47 range, 46, 47 range. I think what they see the state doing is 42. Well, they know that they're going to have, that the state's going to go up to 50 by our hopes to go up by 50. If that, this legislation is going to pass, it's moving right along on that same legislation. It will pass. By what time? By, so, what year? by four years from now, 2027. 2027, they're saying it's going to be, it'll be up to $50,000. Now, the, the deal there is if we go ahead and do 45 and keep it 45, you, you would have some cushion for 24, 25, or 24 25. You would have a little cushion there that you wouldn't have to raise. If you start at 42, you're probably going to be 42. And looking at that legislation, I think it goes up then to 44 ish, then 46, say, and 48, and then finally to 50 in the, in the last increment that you have to do that. Now, the state is going to give you more money. To do that as part of that legislation, you're going to get more money every year to keep that. So if we keep about the same amount of teachers that we have, or a little bit more, then you know you're going to what you're going to have to do in upcoming in upcoming years. That you're going it won't be hardly as complicated as it is this year because of the question about how much money are we going to get from the state. Uh, maybe you just need to put up a toll booth at Parsley's. Yeah. <laughs> But we're working on kind of things, so we. Yeah. <laughs> in your opinion, Douglas, what do you think we could go up to on teacher salary? On the bottom, where do you between forty two and forty five? Where do you think you look? I mean, I'm asking your. You look at it more than we do. You, you, I mean, I would have to go through and recalculate every salary. Spend. You brought one. Like, what did you have on the one you brought? It's like, what was that for that, that's 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 42. Yeah, that's that's 42. 42. Yeah. 42. And, and, and like, 42 puts a million in the hole. I'm but not, you redid it. I'm not trying to talk to all out of, or into yeah. or out of anything. But one thing, oh. you know, if, if the teacher is BS and zero, they got. They got 40 this year. Okay. Well, next year, it's going to be a BS and one. They get a step up plus whatever increase you get. So if it's 2,000, they're going to get their 2,000 plus their step up. So it's not like they're not getting anything. But I understand what Mr. Curtis is saying too because we don't really have a lot of competition from other counties except Rutherford around us but we've got it now with the cow doing what they've done warren doing what they're saying they're going to do and i don't know and, and, and two i should have said too douglas that it's not just the four the bottom the bottom scale remember your scales yeah, it, as they go up once you change up we were very very stuff. very very competitive with with warren and with coffee i talked to charles charles is going up I think he said three to four percent. He's got. He's going to go up. So he's going to be about. I want to know about coffee. They're going to be about forty three, forty four is what coffee's going to be. But the bad thing is, is it's so hard to compare us to any of those counties. And I know there's so. I know there are surrounding counties, but good grief! I mean, they have a huge tax exactly. base. Exactly. I mean, it's, exactly. I mean, and that's what I've been arguing. I've been arguing all country. week with the with the legislative conference been arguing all week is that the small counties, rural counties, are under the gun because we're trying to mm -hmm. tease up, and this, and please mark my word, I may be involved, not asking I'm doing it yet, but I've been asked to try to form a group called the uh, Tennessee Rural Schools Consortium, meaning like us, and there are others, I, was, I, had, I had supper the other night with the guy from Lauderdale, personal friend of mine, they're facing the same thing. That was my next question. Who, I mean, who are we comparable to as far as counties go? Trasdale, uh, Grundy, uh, that's, I would say Sequatchie, but they got more retail that, than we got that we have. Uh, Lauderdale would be a good one in the West, but West Tennessee is a totally different animal with all their special school districts out there. It's a whole other ball game there. But if you look at that, though, we got, 
you know, we, 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 if we're the donut hole, that we were very competitive across the board, even with, with the decamping group, as you moved up. We were always at the bottom. And then as you moved up, you got to 10, 15 years, you were, you were very competitive. Everybody said, Rutherford is. However, if, if, if that's where the state is going to have to say, if the rural school district, the TISA, is going to have to be more equitable than what it is. They, the legislature did, has not decided to do nothing with TISA and allow it a year. Well, next year for 24-25, if I get involved in that, what I want to show is that we don't have the physical capacity. It's like SROs. We don't have the physical capacity to do it. But, we, but we've got to develop it. And that's what the state needs to see through the TASPER and the CBER. That's the calculation of how much more you get. They've got to recalculate that. And, and by the way, on the, the, the 5% more that, that small t groups, get, small schools get, that needs probably to be equitable. It's got to be up to at least 10 to 15. And, uh, and we are small. Anything below 2,000 is, in, in students is a small school district. Not just a thousand. But there are some school districts that are a thousand. But they're, they're going to have to they're going to have to redo this whole thing this time next year. Will be a big budget battle because they're going to have to do it. What we what we need now, we got to do a budget now. We can't mm -hmm. depend on what's going to happen next year. Mm -hmm. Y'all have got to make a decision. Are we going to we going to start teachers at forty two? Going to start at forty three? Whatever. Y'all have to make that decision, and then we can come up with a budget. And y'all have to decide. We're going to add. A chemistry teacher, we're going to add a council, whatever y'all want to do, we're going to redo the bathrooms at XYZ school. That's what y'all have to decide and tell us before we can, you know, we can do anything different. Yes, I think our start needs to be the, what we want to set that base. 21-22 salary for Trasdale was $41,052. That was last year, 21-22. Of course, if I'm looking at this year, right, this year would be 41.17. That gives you something it was quick. 43, five. You know what, this board can decide what they want. I understand if, if we do, if we stay, we will be at the bottom of the, but not just the upper Cumberland County. We've got to get there this year first. I don't want to overextend us, especially since we don't have TISA yet, everything. Well, that's what I started to say. Like, teachers. we're just going to have to do what we can do this year until we know, like, you know, well, next year we'll be in a better day. position because we'll know what the TISA is, is going to bring us. I mean, we're just kind of in limbo. It's like we got to make a budget, but we don't know how much money we have. Right. And, so, yeah, and we're not the only one saying that. Yeah. So, we didn't know what I saw them yesterday. I mean, they were saying the same thing. I mean, I 100% feel like that the teachers deserve a raise. Um, but also, I feel like we may have to be a little conservative in that this year until we know how much money we're getting. And, you know, all those teachers out there just hang with us this year, and hopefully next year we'll be. Um, well, what to DeKalb, DeKalb to was sales tax, certainly, but their commission did a pretty good, pretty big increase this last year. Well, we're going off what we got. But, uh, yeah, you, 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 you're dealing with, with a commission that, that's very hesitant, I think, uh, to do anything except the minimum until they know what our plan is. And and you can't blame it. And you can't blame it. You know, and this this has got to stop being a fight between the Board of Education and the Commission. Right. We've got to come hey, together. Do that other one too, please. We've got to come together. We've got to be six great teachers in there. We are gonna to have to start communicating with them and and the first thing I like to say is I took a tour today uh, of of the high school and uh, uh uh, I I was, and if y'all have never done that, you you really you really need to. I mean, there are some really really good things happening at that high school down there. There's some really really good programs going on, and 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 there there there's just a great bunch of of teachers down there that are dedicated, and you know 
all I hear about from the commission is test scores, test scores, test scores. Well, you know, that's not the only way you can evaluate what's going on in your school system is by test scores. And, and, and I hear this quote from the central office, all this push, push, push about test scores, test scores. Well, if you get down in the trenches and you start teaching these kids and you start working with them, you, it's, it's, I, I, was, I was absolutely so impressed with what's going on down there. And I just have to say that if you've not had a tour down there, uh, you go down there in, in uh, uh, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be pleasantly surprised at what our school system does and what they're doing down there at the high school. And, and I have not made the tour yet of all the other schools, and I promise them I, I, you know, I, I'm going to do that. But uh, there's a lot of good things going on. There's a lot of good things going on. Uh, and I know that uh, the one thing I think that has been asked uh, that uh, uh, the, the board needs to see is uh, uh, job descriptions. They've been asked for that. They've been asking for that for quite some time now, and they haven't got yet. Now, uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna do any trimming, or if you're gonna make a maximum effort to do and get every ounce, every every bit what you can get out of what few dollars we have, you're gonna have to employ your assets at the best the best you can, and. Uh, and I won't, I won't, I won't say because I've been down at Central Office and everyone that I've talked to, and I've not talked to everybody, but uh, they all seem to have about four or five hats they all wear, and, and they're doing four or five jobs. I understand that, but for the board to be able to evaluate that position and to determine if they're getting paid enough or not enough or too much, you need to have job descriptions. And it's coming to the point where it's almost too late. It's almost too late. And, and I hate to be preaching here, but uh, that needs to be done. It should have been done yesterday. You know, but y'all have to make the decision. I mean, everything that they ask for, though, the line, they just need mm -hmm. everything. But this is me talking. I'd rather see you give the teachers more money than pay for the copiers and pay for the phones. I mean, they've gotten by that way for years. I think the teachers would rather feel it in their pocketbook. Anything you can do for them. It's, and, you know, we, we always have to factor in some growth. We, we come up with teacher salaries. We have to factor in some growth. And one thing that I've got in that regular teacher line, I don't know, 110116, we had three summer camps last summer, and I put the same amount of money in there this next year that i put for this current year i understand there's just going to be one camp but is it going to be one big camp with the same amount of money we don't know we've heard nothing about that but that's something that's got to be budgeted and the legislature is looking at that and they claim that we're going to be able to do those camps with with more funding than what we have by summer we didn't spend it all last time. i'm saying that's what i'm saying that we're supposed to get more than what we got last summer and that's 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 going through that'll that'll pass i mean it, and in fact the department of ed's already working on that but there again it's just like tisa they're telling me mid-april on on that on the summer camps we're waiting on that oh uh, emily hamilton i was kind of hoping that i think the teachers got basically a thousand dollars a week since we didn't spend all the money i said give them more Give them, give them twelve hundred. Give them fifteen hundred. We got if we can get the money, give it to them. If we're not going to use it for something else, but that's all you can use it for. Those summer camps, and their supplies, and counselors, and aides, and whatever else they have to have. And I, I say we left fifty or sixty thousand dollars on the table that we didn't, we didn't spend last year. I mean, they they bought a lot of supplies. I don't think they don't think any of them had to buy any paper all this year. No, they they did good on that. And the kids get a lot from it too. I've not heard of some bad from that either. Mm -hmm. in the last few years. <clears throat> you know, uh, 
it, it, for for purposes of the finance committee doing the budget, uh, you know, I I think it's hard work, but, but I mean, Douglas, I think, would probably rather do it three or four times than wait till the last minute and struggle and try to get it. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, what we need to do is say, okay, factor in 44 for teachers. Add five teaching positions. Uh, reserve $200,000 for needed extras that everybody is on their wish list. Just do that and, and see where it comes. See what happens. I'll see what you've got. I think I've got three hundred fifty thousand dollars in your regular capital outlay, and that's what we've been putting in for several years. But if you want to do some more projects like the bathrooms or whatever, we might need to put a little more in there for that. Of course, you don't know how much any of that's going to cost. No. but like Kevin, you know, we've seen that work. Yeah, yeah. Kevin's good. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, I think it was something right now. I think last year what he brought us was like fifteen or seventeen thousand for the floor. Is that what you're talking about, Dan? Is the actual product what's going to cost us? Right yeah, now. well, just like how much it's going to cost to have it done. Like you have to hire a contractor, or I think as of this last year it was I want like seventeen or eighteen thousand, and then we done the plumbing and we installed the stalls. Is that at the high school? Yeah. 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 Well, that's not so it's not bad. Okay, so let's start with teacher salary. What are we thinking? Let's get. Personally, I think you ought to stay with forty two right now. And well, you could even like Rebecca said, do a forty three five and then do a forty five and just see yeah where that puts y'all. But and then you may say, well, we may not need to stay at forty two so we can do some of these other things. I think we need to make a list of what's prior. Prioritize what we need. What needs, what we want, what is the most important. One right now would be the pay increase. Okay. Like, Mr. Curtis, somebody said, we've been having budget over there in a month and a half. So, so we need to see where. That's what I'm saying. This is making me nervous. I'm like, I want to get. <laughs> I want to get out. So you're saying 42, 43, and a half. Either you want to say both? 42. Is that what you're saying? Well, saying? we know 42 already pretty well. Right. Yeah, we've got 42. 42 is already yeah, pretty good. What you right. But that is only X amount of positions. You have to, if you add, let's say you add four yeah. positions. That's Just what we're going to find out now. If you add four positions, then that would affect what that would be. So you need to figure it out. If you're saying just for, just for any case, 40, let's say 42, if you say that. Okay, it's already in there. How many positions was that? Did that cover? That's what you need to know now. How many positions do we need to add to this point? And how many did you say that was extra with it? You thought we could? You and Douglas will go five or six? I, I, I said I said four or five. Is that what you did? You agree with that? That we got room for four or five? Well, I, we always put some in there for growth because you never know when school starts. Right. So when you factor this, you factor in. I think I've got three or four growth positions in there, plus what I think we must do for summer camps. Okay. All right. And that's just a guess. And I keep hoping we'll get some more information on those summer camps. But growth doesn't mean new teachers. Yes. Oh, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Growth is like if they call from County County Middle School and say, hey, I've got 50 more sixth graders than what I thought was going to happen. So we've got to have two more teachers. I mean, and one of the, the reasons, too, Terry, that, every year. Team, Terry, that our, our teaching, our t amount of teachers, We've had budgeted teachers in there. I've got two kindergarten teachers. I've yeah. been advertising one of them since October. We've got positions that have not been filled. And the positions on one, I just kept that one in there because yeah. she she really graduated from tech, but she liked that one test. And now, by the time she gets it at the end, here she's going to graduate in May, hopefully. And, and she's going to graduate in May. She's already taken the test and everything. But we paid her as a sub instead of a, a regular certified teacher. And that's just one because I can't find them. Just because you couldn't find them. We couldn't find them. So, and I've got to an opening or two with teachers, two teachers are left at the middle school right now that I've got open right this second. 
math teacher to high school. Open right this second. So some of that we didn't spend. So that's why that line right. is probably better than what because you have the circumstances that occur. Okay, so let's move on to counselors. How many counselors? We need to decide on teachers. Oh, what did we decide? <laughs> <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Well, we're at 42. Rebecca suggested 43 and a half. Do you want to see what the 43 and a half will do us? Is that what you're requesting? Right, that way we're not overextending this first year of 45. I would love to. Even I would love to. But 43 and a half would be more competitive to coffee. And, and we don't know Warren yet. They're, they're doing the same thing. Warren, DeKalb. DeKalb's not at the same, but they were 47 in DeKalb. Okay. 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 And then Warren's at 43. Okay. 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 Okay.
And if my daughter has to take chemistry or physics, I'm going to encourage her to take the class that you have a physical teacher in the classroom. Right. If physics is not something that she needs, you know, as far as like college, yeah. you know, her pro whatever she chooses um, to and go I into. Agree with both, but if there's only a hundred students, right? Not, I just have to waste that money on the teacher if I can do it on. Right. Do it online. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Driver, yeah. If we have driver ed, we get a little bit of money. It's um, some safety money. It's not, it, uh, it's not called that. Though, but it, well, I don't the governor's safety office or something? Tis, I don't know. Okay. Let's see. We have got. Like you said. Yeah, we got just six like five thousand dollars. How much? Six thousand. Oh, six thousand. Yeah. Well, that'd be six thousand. Did you put that towards the car? That's what say. It'd be a good down payment on the car. You can do it any way you want to. It's just part of your fund. But uh, with Tissa, I don't know if that's going to be something to build. And we won't know until we start. Yeah. So maybe we can factor in five teachers just to be safe. Right. Plus five teachers. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
Does this puzzle have to? That was my question. I mean, you have to have to. I mean, is it a necessary? I mean, I know there's a lot. Of kids I've got the teacher. I mean, the listing over here. Hey, are you where you can talk to the board right now? I thought that was speaker. So we got. Okay, all right. We got Miss Miss Bonnie on the speaker. Miss Bonnie, this is yes. Eric. Question on the table is: How many counselors do we have, and where are the count? Where are they at? We have four days at Cannon South and one day at Cannon. We have Suzette, who is part time Cannon North, and the other half Cannon Elementary. And we have Tess Wisner, who is the ESSER counselor, and she's at Cannon. With Mr. Corey, did you say he's just three days? Four days. Four days. And then Miss Chastity is at middle full time five days a week. Yes. Okay. So, so, go ahead, Justin. So, Mr. Corey, he's going to middle one day a week too. Is that something that is? Okay. Okay. All right. So is there, and I'm just throwing this out there, I don't know. So would Mr. Corey be more beneficial to do five days a week at the middle school and then put Miss Chastity somewhere else where she can stay five days a week? Is that something that's possible or no? Okay. His daughter goes to Cannon South. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be honest. County, County, County. I'm trying to. Okay. I understand. I was just. Oh, yes. Anybody else have questions for Ms. Bonnie? Yes, I understand. Um, in your opinion, can we get by this year with what we have this upcoming year, Ms. Bonnie? Do we need any additional counselors? We have a full time counselor at every school because of the needs that we have. Mm -hmm. But so we can do it what we need to do. To do that, we'd have to add what, two, Bonnie? Or one and a half? With Well, I know, I know. <laughs> well, I mean, if you have one more, you could put, you know, like Miss Suzette, she's going half at North and half at elementary. I mean, if you have one more, then you could have one full-time at North and one full-time at the elementary. Yes, ma'am. So, I mean, that would be... For each school? Mm-hmm. And I... Two counselor. Well, actually, we have one counselor at the elementary. Mm -hmm. And we have a two additional one, so. Okay. okay. And while I have you, can I ask you, do you have another second? 
On your request the other night was the safety supervisor. Safety supervisor. The supervisor, can you give a little bit of explaining what that person would do? Well, I mean, it, 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 Enforcement background. Does anybody else have a question for Ms. Bond? No. no. Thank you, right. Ms. Thank you <clears throat> Well, the theme the other night was what? Yeah. Mental, mental health. health. Safety. Yes. Mental, mental health. Mental health, is it? Yeah. So, I mean, I think if you get your mental health at your test work, I'm up. Absolutely. Too. I do too. Absolutely. You don't have so, maybe we can figure in maybe at least one. New council? Yes, maybe. that's what I'd like to see. Two of the six counts. Yes, sir. Okay. I've done some figuring here uh, while deliberation was going on. Looking at the February estimate from Nashville, from the Department of Education, with $16,035,075 million and six cents. Taking that from the January, so just the January estimate subtracted, uh, you know, fourteen million seven hundred thousand from that would be one point three million dollars, and that does include the MOE. That does include buying everything from across the street. And the next one coming out, they're going to separate that in a separate item up here. This is our MOE, which our MOE was uh, the required local contribution three million forty thousand nine hundred sixty nine. Was from the January. I don't think that would change any. Might be a little bit. Is that what y'all got? Three million, three million forty thousand nine hundred sixty-nine. Yeah, that's it. Okay, just local, local match. Okay, so and that local match was supposed to be in this one right here in that sixteen million. So if I just tack, subtract between the two. It's the state and local funding. That would be one million three hundred thirty-five thousand seventy and seventy-five dollars and six cents more. What that would be right now? This second, it's what they said going between the two. Basically, one point three million dollars more. That's what we thought about. What we would have this second right now. That's just what the guesstimate was. The guesstimate was in February. The difference between January and February was 1.335075. So, my question to you all of y'all. Okay. You had a council. That's one. And you had five teachers. We've had a teacher this. I don't know if we can add two more if we can. That's great. But I think we need to, and I agree that we need a full time safety person with Ms. Bonnie and Mr. Mayor. I agree. I feel like we really need a data person. Mike, before counselors, so, we need the data. Me personally, I think we need a data before we do anything. That's my, but not minus the teachers, leave the teachers out. We don't have to change. But, and I'm not against the counselor, but I think we need to discuss that. Are we going to do a data position? And how much is the salary of the data position going to be? Because I've looked at some of these data positions and I've, I've seen anywhere between 70 to 95. Well, my thought on that, my thought on that was, and I mean, this is just my opinion. Um, you know, Miss Lisa had said, you know, get somebody in to help her, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just feel, I would feel a lot better because, I mean, I feel like that's, 
going to be a pricey, you know, position to fill. And I would just feel a lot better if I knew how much money we had, you know. And it, and I know that that is so important because that's where we're going to get our funding. I was going to say, you got to spend money to get to make money. Right? Yes. Exactly. And we're about, and we can lose money. But that would take something off Miss Flat. Not take nothing away from Miss Flat, but we just take the responsibility off her where she can focus on the other two. And, and, and Lisa does a great job with intake. Yeah, intake, because she knows where the roads are. She Because she picks them up. She's great because she can know and she knows our numbers about where we are because rezoning is another thing we got to talk about not only strategic planning but rezoning needs to be on the next agenda. I'll yes. just put it bluntly. Yes, it's great. Yes. yes. She's pulled toward a different direction. Yes. Because I know when I have to get things from her, I have to go down there three or four times. It's not because she's not doing anything. It's because somebody needs that lift right here. Yeah, it's just you can't be in day to be in the middle of something and get a phone call back. Right. And this data, it's, it's like so, she said, it, it's going to mean everything. And like Marshall was saying the other night, they had a student that they never did get in the system last year well, because nobody could figure out how to do and it. And that's what I was going to say, too. And on the other hand, it's like this data person. I mean, I feel like it would help so many people, you know, like, I mean, I never thought, you know, Miss Marsha would be in here saying we need a data person, like, you know. Well, but she sees it because she, everything, right. every one of the platforms are right. academics. And then when she tied it all in to what she's doing, I mean, that was a real eye-opener, like, it really affects every single, uh, you know, every single uh, position in here. They'll have so, to help tech department too. Yeah. Figuring out having them communicate all the things and stuff, seeing what the issues are. Cause I mean, if you hire a certified person in that position, you're going to pay a certified salary. Right. Um, Any guesstimate as to what that is? I don't, I don't know. Depends on what they got. Depends on the bad person they got. Yeah, what would the requirement be? Hey, that's what I'm doing. Well, I mean, what kind of like, what kind of background? I don't think really have to. So what? I mean, what you else? could just hire somebody. You would not have to hire a certified right? person for right. that. But at least it's an analytical, a very much an analytical person that can be in a room and that's all they do. They're going through Skyward. They're checking, they're checking every single thing about Skyward. Because you're going through. Your attendance person has to have an attendance endorsement. That's something you have to have. I don't know what you're going to have to have this, but this first, but it's going to be somebody that can. Well, I know Miss Marsha mentioned something about codes, like putting in the right codes. Code, yeah. So, I mean, is that something that, I mean, do you just like, you, I can come in here and do this position and they can teach me how to do that? Or do like I have to go to school for that? I mean, what is I think you have some training. I think, I think you could learn that. I've I mean, I'm with the position. I'm out. Nursing. With teacher licenses and all the And I would have to go to Marshall to get course codes because I'd look, well, yeah, that looks like what they're teaching to me. But then when she got hold of no, they're teaching course 7920 rather than 1429. And it's got to be somebody that understands how all that works. Right. And I've, I've been doing a lot of that with the permit stuff because I have to be the last one to put it in. I have to be the use this code to be the last one to make sure those permits are right. And so I have to, had to develop a spreadsheet that makes that right. And other systems have said, what are you doing to get your permits through so quick? I said, I've got a spreadsheet and I've got to make sure that every one of those things are done before I submit it to the state. So that's, that's just one way that that person could help in doing that too in licensure so we could hire and we need to do some more research on that. yes so we could hire someone basically and train them to do but we need to find are we going to do it are we going to hire somebody and just give all that to them that's the decision we kind of need not i think we need to do some more research and see what do we well i'm guessing we, we want to throw this let douglas put that in there yes. tonight is what i'm asking Yes. I mean, and about how much did you, would you, how much would you suggest for that position, Douglas? Well, 
You're going to get what you pay for. Well, I understand that. Mark, it's like, it's I mean, it, it, it's, I, I put them up. What's the size that would be five? Close to the teacher pay. And, I mean, you might be able to teach them. 75 for five. Depending on what you well, do. Well, be, be careful there because yeah. you've got. You have supervisors. Yes, the the supervisors pay. don't make. Uh, t- Medford don't make sense. Maybe. So 50? 65. Yeah. 50. 50. That's only 50 at least. I would go for 50. And at TASBO, they stress the importance of the yes. job over and over. Yes. What is TASBO for those in the room that might not know that? What is that? What is TASBO? The LC Association of School Business Officials. And they're suggesting that we also have a full time. Well, they just said that's a very important position that everything's coded correctly. And, yeah. yeah, it's more important than it's ever been. <laughs> so you're going to have to know the guy word and you're going to have to know licensure. You're, you're going, so you're here, you're like to stay on, I guess, from research, right? Um, so you're, you're going skyward. You, you've got to also have some basis of skyward. You're going to have to have some basis of licensure. You're also going to have to have uh, troubleshooting, computer troubleshooting, meaning, meaning software. The software adaptations to other platforms and working with technology. And working with academics to make sure those platforms are big enough. Have we ever thought about asking Miss Lisa if she would maybe want to do that as her main job and then take her other responsibilities and hire somebody for that? Well, the way we said it before was well, she could just put in for it. I mean, it'd be no different than we just posting it and we could, right. could still whoever interviews her. The new superintendent or whoever would interview her. So I'm mean, not saying that she cannot do it. Well, I work down there. If I said, listen, would you help me? We're going to shampoo the carpet. Yes, she'd be in there helping you, you know. You'd have to make it clear to her that this is her job and it's her only job now. She's used to wearing a lot of hats and doing a lot of things to help a lot of people. Yeah. That's, that's why we all liked her. Of course, you'd always tell her to help you whenever you need it. Yeah. Also, are there teachers or positions that may be phased out due to funding? Didn't y'all talk about this at the first meeting? Are there people, um, like, you know, they had a certain amount of funds, and then those funds are going to run out, and then you're going to have people that may be looking for a place to go? Yeah, right. well, yeah your yeah. instructional like, coaches will end when? When does that end? Next year. Next year. Next year. And, and, and uh, that's what I'm saying. Sanders' job, Lynn. She would, yeah, but, she but see, she's yeah. a, I think she's an EDS. She should be paying her pretty, you know, it may not be. She's not worth it. We have people in the system, multiple people that can do this. I mean, well, I mean, well, she would be perfectly yeah. true because I mean, yeah. she's so analytical. The way she did with Esther, that was very impressive. But she, I mean, she took that Esther. I mean, she's like nobody knew anything but Esther when she right. did. Man. But I, and I, I guess the point. I mean, there she are people that are that that could be there that could do that job that are going to be looking for a job that you. Of course, she would be absorbing them back in. She and the and the instructional coaches all tenured teachers, so you would have to give them a job somewhere in the system. It may not be something that the grade would have to do. So, I mean, that's just. And yeah, we've got how many instructional coaches? Two. 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 Technology coach, we didn't talk about the technology coach. Yeah, she's a player now, she was a force. Megan. So, right. Megan. I'm sorry, Megan. Megan, yeah. And then the other thing is, is the other position that we have to decide if we're going to keep or not is the technology trainer. Yep. That's Jackie Burger's job. Would you say no, that's good. What did you decide? Well, I think technology is becoming more and more, and that's why we have the whole technology department. We do, but, but they don't have the time to do what they do with teachers because they're working on major things. And I understand that, but we are working with limited funds. Well, we're going down the road too far. Yes, sir. Needs, she needs to know what we're going to do about that. Oh, I'm He's sorry. writing stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Not putting you down for it, it's just he going he, he's more than an answer. We I, think, I think we should put it in there. We added yes. a counselor and the double person or 
Well, down to first, or what do we, what do, we do? I mean, if it came down to it, I'd take the data person over to the council. I but that's just me. I for mean, this year? Yes. For this year, year, at least. I mean, if you had to make a decision, I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm just talking about people. It'd just be nice to know if it had to be. It's the money in there. Not for it. I'm just talking about the money. That's what I'm saying. It's my opinion. No, 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 no. It's like flying a plane blindfolded. I know. You don't know if you're going to try to land that. No, no, no. Because next yeah, year, I think it will the be the data person who wants yes. to put the fuel in the engine to get the plane. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They're going to give yes. you the money. Yeah. They're going to give you the money to get you the council. I'm going to be curious and like what we do with Mike. So we've got five teachers. And then add an office and data person. And then counselors up in the air. Safety supervisor full time. Because that will help take of how office Bonnie. And it's also, we got to factor in if Miss Bonnie is picked as the new director, she has multiple hats. Mm -hmm. Someone's not going to come in and do all that she does. It will have to be. Thank you, be a big one. Two. Thank so those need to be divided up that anyway. Off. That and that attendance, attendance is critical too because. Yeah. Because the more kids are here, the more money that you're going to receive, too. As Davis well knows, its average daily membership is not here, but we do get a component there of average daily attendance. We well, what, what, what's that amount to? been a de facto social work. What's that amount to? Explain the job. We don't have a job description. Well, that needs to be divided, subdivided up. Bonnie's got that down. She has that. I said, her, no, how does it function? How does attendance function? What does she do? Uh, attendance is, by law, you have to have an attendance supervisor that makes sure that the truancy laws are enforced because there are different tiers of attendance. If you miss one or two days, you're down here. Below. And then they increase up to, if you're out a bunch, you're over there having to do truancy. With, with, with Judge Cowan. So that, that attendance is not just the old truant officer who's going to go out and chase you, but it is good visitation. It is it has become, Bonnie, Bonnie's position has become a de facto social worker. She works with the counselors and makes sure that all of that is coordinated. She works with the courts. I mean, you look at her, her description and she's got one. She does disciplinary uh, hearings. Yes, DHAs. Uh, Which yeah. takes her away yeah. from Safety and uh, what she said the other night. Yeah, she didn't. Yeah. investigation. She, she does. Can't focus. You say she had what she needs to focus on because she's constantly. Yeah, she she does. Oh, yeah. She spends a lot of time. She's got the horses about. She told me the other day how long it was. So she's got it. She's got it. She's got She's got the lucky one. Well, no. She's the one that developed them. all of her supervisors. She got the best girl. <laughs> supervisors to go back through and put it exactly what their job entails. Okay. All right, I asked that question. So the data person's also looking at attendance, right? Well, that's why that was going to be. Yes, that's correct. They're, 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 they're monitoring that, but they have to have an attendance. You have to have an attendance certification by law. By law to do that. How do you get that? Yeah, how do you get that? Go back to school for that? You have to have taken so many courses in this and so many courses in that. Okay. That, that has to be. Well, how do you get one of your endorsements? Like you get an endorsement for high school English, but you get an endorsement for attendance. I mean, you do this course. Is that, does that include like it. training? It's, it's something to get in college. Yes, and you, yes. Have, you have to get it. have so many classes. Okay. I don't have it. I don't know a lot of people do that. Go ahead. How many hours I is it? How long does it take you to get it? Good question. That's something that your data that. person could go back and pick up. I don't know. I'm just asking. It'd be tough to combine that data person if you want them sitting in a cube in a room doing just this, and they're having to go over there and, and, and out and chase kids. Well, I'm not saying that. They can't do that. They can do that. They can monitor. Certainly, they're going to be monitoring to make sure schools are putting that in correctly. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. They're going to be. That's what Lisa tried to do working in conjunction with Bonnie is, is looking at working together to make sure that data is correct. Because sometimes it's a coding error at the school level. And so working with those secretaries, that's what Lisa's been doing this yeah, whole year. But once a week, I don't know, I mean, she's got all those secretaries up there. I'll say Lisa's having school today. And they're there about all day working on that. So this attendant supervisor has had this special endorsement. Is there anybody else in this central office that has this endorsement? Do you know? 
Not that I'm aware of. Just get to me. So I'm going to leave you up I'm going to call her back and see. In our system? I mean, is everybody in our system that has? I, I would, let, me, let me get Bonnie on that because she can. So I right now it would be easier to get someone as a safety supervisor to take that off of her, and that's also her recommendation because, like she said, but she I, does have that. As you just mentioned, if things go other way, we'll need that other way too. For both anyway. Yeah. Sorry about me again. The Tennessee supervisor position of attendance. What's the requirement on that? Isn't there a special endorsement code? Hold on, I'm going to put you on speaker. I have this problem on the line again. This is funny. Okay, thank you, committee. I'll try to say. Here we go. Okay. So if you've been a principal, you could automatically be a supervisor of attendance? Well, I know about that you don't have to or have an certification. It has so many hours of counseling because of the tier intervention. But you have to have your certification. I'm proud of Bonnie on 496-3006, attendance supervisor. I'll, I'll send that more numbers to you right now. Okay. All right, well, thank you, Miss Bonnie. We'll try not to bother you anymore. <laughs> I didn't say that, Bonnie. Your, your boss did not say that. I did not say that. <laughs> thank you, Miss Bonnie. <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. That's the wrong point. We went. That's the wrong point. Just the wrong point. Right now, so we've we got Miss Bonnie. Five teachers. Mm -hmm. The pay increase for teachers, looking at the 43 and a half, the five teachers, the data analysis, and then the safety supervisor. Right now, it's our what was the last the safety supervisor. Safety. Well, you want to add that position too? That or attendance, one of the two. Yeah. yeah. One of them. Well, right now, it would be safety right safety now. Safety right now. So it's a full time supervisory yeah. position. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With specialized training that was to yeah. do law enforcement. Yeah. Law enforcement background and all well, that. Would that, that, would that be a certified position? Probably not. Probably post certified. Or somebody that's had law enforcement experience. We would have to look at which you think we need to put there. So, this is a stupid question, but like these positions, like the safety, safety supervisor, no, it doesn't have to be. I guess what I'm saying is like it doesn't have to be like a teacher. It can be just it can be whoever we want it to be. So what kind of safety supervisor? Yeah. Like it can just I mean is there yeah. certain requirements that they have to have about like state I, or I is would, that up to us? Well that's being developed right now across the state through legislation too. Okay. But a part of that deal, and this is from coming down from the governor and that whole deal about school safety. Um, you know, someone that's got SRO experience would be valuable. The ones that I've known who have been hired at, at this has been either former SROs, former deputies, or people who have had uh, law enforcement experiences because they have more. They have more thing about knowing knowledge, specific knowledge about that than just a, a teacher somewhere. Right. Teacher in a school. I may be talking out of school, but I think I remember Bonnie telling me she was working on some kind of a grant. 
that would fund a safety person. I don't know. I know uh, he had an answer. We can have more work, but I don't know how far along that's gone. I don't either. But she did tell me about that. Okay, so safety supervisor, put that on your list. Definitely. Okay, so how much money we will put there? I don't know. That. You know, this may sound like a silly question, uh, but we seem to have different people in different areas working on grants. Uh, Bonnie's working on a grant. Someone else is working on a grant. Uh, is it because they have expertise in their field and that's the grant they're working on? Because uh, the answer is yes. yes. The answer is yes. Yeah, uh, I absolutely. You yes. know, I, I, I was thinking, you know, would it? Wouldn't it be wise if we could find somebody that just worked on grants? Okay. And uh, the federal, the federal, federal side, the federal side, yeah. Uh, that just worked on grants and got us grants, and, and that would be a full time position, and we would have, they would have the time to spend to do it. Because I know that 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 uh, if you're a teacher doing, for example, what Bonnie does, for for her to have time to work on a grant, that's that's a big undertaking in itself. And she does it a lot because mm -hmm. those safety grants come through mm -hmm. and they're yep. specific nice. for yep. that particular thing. Same thing with uh, with nutrition, same thing with yep. uh, busing and ES or ESP program. Uh, that's CTE. another one. That's CTE another one. was a grant. CTE was a huge grant. Yes. You know, can, can we not get any help from the state on these grant uh, applications? That would be a question for the the county executive and for like the finance department you have to know like like i could apply for a safety grant because i wouldn't have a clue what right involves like, well, body knows but some systems have full-time grant writers that they they get with the person like a safety grant and then they get with that person to word that to word that we might do that and what we've done with that grant with the county uh, because we put we wrote into the grant itself that we were working with them on our generators for our emergency generators for schools. That came through TEMA. And so we got Mr. Coper, who had just retired from us. He's been working on that particular grant for months. I think we're, we're, we're I don't have, I'm not talking to Mr. Metric about that one recently, but I think we're in the next round of that because most grants are you feel you're at this level, then you get to this level, and you finally get. That you're going to get the money, mm -hmm. but that takes an amount of time. Mr. Cooper's doing that for a flat, for a flat fee, I believe. That's yeah. County, but we don't pay her. She gets paid. A percentage of the grant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Grant pays her. So, and she's not just like constantly looking for grants for us. Or, you know, can you look for grants out there? Grant Certain things. Because she works for other counties too. Okay, so we've got the safety supervisor. I'm assuming this would be a 12 month position. I would assume. Yeah, you know, it would be possible that supervisor could be over your SRO and a supervisory position. Well, that's where we work. have to work that out with the sheriff on the MOU that we do, the MOU would we do. So but he would be dealing with them every day. The sheriff doesn't see them very much unless it's an emergency. Okay, so what is our salary for this? Douglas wants to know. Freddie's mind right there. <laughs> Maybe a, a basic, a basic teacher salary. Maybe forty-five, fifty. Something like that. 40, of course, you'd have to help. Forty. Yeah, but if you go to work forty-three-five, that's where you have to start. Yeah. Yeah. Or that's or forty-two. We'll whatever. We'll go for forty. And that could be commensurate upon experience too. Right. You could probably budget 50 and then start with 42. Just a mission experience. Oh, I was taken back. I'm sorry that we set up ours pay scale like we did, but it's a shame if you let a guy who can prove he's got 20 years' experience of custodian and start him at the bottom. We should have never had we should never had that mental thought about our pay scale. You're getting, a, you're getting, we don't, we're not going to expect that from anybody else. You just said it right now. Hey, how much experience does this guy got? How much does this teacher have? How much experience she got? We don't penalize them for coming here and starting them at the bottom. You know, if you need a custodian, you got a good one sitting there, and we, the only reason we're not hiring for five bucks. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and that's where the board can make your policies in regard to that, to say that's been a policy a long time on the experience has to be in Cannon County and those salary scales. But the board can change that and say new people will be based upon, I think for another county that I'm thinking of right now, they do it that they have been experienced and they verify that those experiences yeah. to bring your has been done. Maybe the supervisor could go and look at your county custodian you can't just say and verify, it. oh, he was there, this man or she mm -hmm. was there this amount of years, and then you could say, okay, since you've been there that particular amount, we could start you out at the intermediate level instead of the bottom level. That's I, something I to think about. Really when you're looking at the certified our non certified, excuse me, uh, our sports staff, that's what you need, what you need to look at. Good, good conversation. So, now that we're on the safety supervisor thing, what about the SRO? Now's a good time to tell us about that. Okay. Exactly. You have five. How long have I got an hour and a half? I've been involved. I've been involved. If you. Uh, Saw my testimony before the, uh, I got grilled by a Democrat guy who led a demonstration today, by the way, the General Um But, good news, passed by 20 to 1 in the Education Committee. Senate Education Committee passed it 9 nothing, And they usually argue and carry on, boom, went right through. That was before, and I think it's why, who's carrying it, Senator Reeves has some very good clout there. So it's been a good government lesson for me, but Senate has passed Senate Education has passed it. The House Subcommittee passed it to the full House Education Committee, Education Administration. They passed it. One to one except for that one he wanted present not voting. He didn't vote no. Everybody said I convinced him to go to the bill instead of, instead of that. But that it passed now. So it is going to finance. Ways and means is where it's at next. I plan to be down there on next Wednesday when it's presented in the Senate in the Senate finance. It won't be committed. I tell you, if, if you see Michael Hale, please compliment him. He and Senator Reeves have worked incredibly hard to get this done on this caption bill. And a caption bill, they didn't have really put something about safety in there, and then they weren't and then they amended it to do that. The fiscal note on this before what happened on Monday, I would have gave it, given it a 40-60 chance of passing. That's what I was looking at. Uphill battle all the way. After what happened on Monday, if you'd have told me I'd have got, we would have got 20 to 1 in that House Ed Committee, I would have said a miracle had occurred. And so here's the deal. That's $30,000. Okay? $30,000 that you apply as a grant to the Tennessee School Safety Center, and the Tennessee School Safety Center, which is part of the Department of Education, take that amount of money, and they're applying it $30,000 for every school in the state of Tennessee, which is 1,827 schools in Tennessee. Of that, 536 does not, do not have as full-time SROs. That's the latest data, 536. So to answer, that I've been we've been working hard. I have been assured I saw Lambert on there, he's the leader in the house. Um, the, the Republican leader in the house, and he said, I don't care if we have to vote enough to put enough money to put a tank in front of every school in Tennessee, we're gonna do it. That's what he said today. Okay, so I think the commitment is there. I think it's cool. I believe it, I believe it's set. I think it will pass and be signed by the governor. But, the, but what I've heard, there are two safety bills out there. One of the administration wants, and it had penalties. If you had an unlocked door and you didn't have an SRO, they were going to force the board to hire an SRO. And I said, where are you going to get the money from? If we could, don't have the money for it in the first place, how can we have more we going to even find the money to do it? We'd have to go to the commission. And they can say, hey, the state's making us do this. Okay, that's that argument. But I think if that if it passes, but now the governor has gotten involved because what happened just a few miles from the governor's mansion the other night, other other afternoon or other morning, excuse me. So what's going to happen? I believe 
And, and Chairman Platt, who's over that committee that just passed out, it's going to finance. Finance ways and means is what you're doing right now here. That's what they do. They start saying, can we afford to do this? Can we afford to do that? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I believe it's going to pass them, but they may combine, and what I've heard, maybe a special session on school safety, just blocking out everything else and saying, we're going to do this special session on school safety and pass this thing out of school safety. What could possibly happen, I'm not saying it's going to, I believe what could possibly happen that we would get more than, each school would get more than 30000 Because right now, I don't know what to share if y'all, Diane, you're the, I'm going to put you on the spot. How much is he paying SROs? It's the share paying SROs. 30, and I want to think maybe close to 40. I think they make Okay, so let's say we do get 100, we got five schools, 150,000 that we get. Let's say this, just put that in the budget. 150. Okay. How much above that 150 is what the sheriff is currently paying and what we can be competitive because if everybody in the state is going to, they're having difficulty, especially in larger cities, to get that SROs, period. But let's say we do get it, then we, we get, we're going to get, we've got two, we're going to have to hire three more. And the sheriff has said, I'd like to hire one additional one that he can supervise all of this. I told that Bill about the Homeland Security agent that's going to be assigned to every county. I told him that, that, that they, he, he uh, spoke, the guy who's over that, spoke to the uh, school directors on Monday, on uh, Tuesday. And I'll post him after, I'm going to be like after him afterwards. And I said, right, what's, what's that responsibility? Training is going to be a big one for that Homeland Security person. Huge. And that's a big piece. They're going to have to train, help train SROs and work as partners in this deal too with us. And I said, well, I'll just tell you what I do. If I had one in Cannon County, he'd be in partnership as an SRO. That's what he'd be in Cannon County because, you know, once he checks my five schools and he does security assessments, what, you know, and he said, well, training's going to be a big piece of that. And working regionally and all this stuff. But that's what I told him. I said, I need boots on the ground. And he said, we would probably work to do that as a, 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 a partnership with your SROs, is what he was saying too, not just Homeland Security, just to be coming up and he sees a kid coming out the door and if it don't match correctly, come up and get you every time. That's not what it was about. But the good news is, if the governor gets involved, it may be more than 30, we may be getting more than 40, but you have to remember, and you, you know this very, very swiftly here in this, in, in this body, is it's a recurring it needs to be a recurring it's recurring thing and i think just like coordinated school health was the big thing several years ago that we got a certain amount i believe it's going to be like that with sros you're going to get there's going to be the school safety money i think we need to we need to double that the month the amount that we get to help keep our schools safe and bonnie would be on the phone for that bonnie night tonight but we, we, what do we get on that? Do it's ninety thousand? Is that the school safety grant? That's what it's been every, no ninety. I don't know what it is, but as it's for day school health, it's ninety. What's all it's ever been? And that's got to be in TISA this time. Yep. But the school safety money safety is in TISA too. Yeah, that's going to be in TISA also. Something I read and I can't find the document where I read it. We're supposed to spend the same amount. We spent this year, next year, in coordinated school health and in safety. Right. You can't just do that. I'm going to spend it on teachers. You've got to spend it on the safety. It's not designated special amounts. That's, that's what you have to do. All right. So, going back to the SROs, we would probably get at the minimum right now, Jessica, would be $150,000. But it's going to cost us, I ain't doing figures real quick, if you're doing $40,000, time you get insurance, you get insurance, a car, uniform, expenditure. Retirement, Medicare. Okay, y'all are the ones, I'm glad you're here to say that. I, I'm just throwing out numbers here. You're probably, that, that 30,000 position probably going to cost you 50. Oh, yeah. is, is that money coming to the school system? Okay, that's or is it going great, to the sheriff? Great question. It, okay, what I envision, now this is a Freddie Curtis deal, okay, it can change. What I envision, it's going to be very similar to, we get that particular SRO grant through ePlan, we get that through the state, 
then we immediately move that over to the sheriff's department to do that. That's what I think. I don't know that. That's the way we used to do that uh, safety grant. We just got a small amount, and we paid the town of Woodbury to pay their officers that worked at the high school. That's all we had then. When I first came so the sheriff will work. still be responsible for... The SROs. That's still the big, we have an MOU right now with them about this is what an agreement between the memorandum of understanding between Cannon County Schools and the Sheriff Department. And it's it's it's, it's a fairly simple, it's about a one pager, is what it is. I anticipate this goes through, those MOUs will be there'll be agreements that the state says we're gonna give you this amount of money, but you gotta do uh, this, 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 this. Instead of just saying, Sheriff, we're going to give it to you. Yeah, I would suggest boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that you uh, put some stipulations in there. Oh. And that can be up to this board, too, in doing the MOU. Usually, Bonnie and I have handled the MOU for the last time. Is that, I mean, do you have to do that? Does the sheriff have to be responsible for the SROs? Or if can they can don't work for the sheriff, they like can't even carry it. Yeah, they're at this age, they can't even carry again. They need to be post certified. We do not, I am vehemently against SSOs. I need arrest power principles one. We, we demand it. We want, we want arresting powers so I don't have to have. It's like a, it's a, a mall security guy. Yeah. They have to call the cops. Well, we got the cops already. Well, they, they, I was just curious. If we hired them, what they could arrest or anything. Right. Okay. But, it, but, but I'm thinking the MOUs will get very stringent yeah. because the state's going to require that as part of this deal. But if you get if you get this money, you're going to have to do this, this, this. If you get this grant, excuse me, grant, then you're going to have to do this, this, this. The sheriff's going to have to do this, 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 this. Because we're not going to battle it. You know, sheriff's in control. You in control. Well, training is very important, and 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 I know that that the sheriff has just as much trouble with finding qualified deputies as we are, we do finding teachers. Uh, they're hard to find. Same and, thing. Same thing. You know. So uh, for your budget for next year, that, that's coming down the pike. So that's not something we know we're going to get. Right but but here's but here's what we could do. If you're thinking about that hundred fifty thousand, we would have to we give that hundred fifty. I don't know what the total expenditure would be. Dan, could you just count off the top of your head? Think about the difference, what, 20 more thousand for each position, maybe? No, 30? Uh, for each position. For each position, how much more of the insurance? If we said 30,000 is going to be the salary. Insurance would be about 6,000, and then um, retirement's going up a little bit. We, we have to pay the difference. County will probably uh, have to. For the county. That would be the county's part. It's what, but not us, but the county's part. What y'all are saying doesn't sound like that's something we need to consider. Yeah, it's but right. yeah, it sounds to me like if it passes, then you could amend your budget right. yeah. to include that. But, but how much? Another ten thousand. Okay, so let's say ten. So the county would have to come up with fifty thousand in for our five SROs. But that's if it's about ten percent down the bottom. And I mean, honestly, SROs just something. We shouldn't even blanket behind that. We need them. Yeah, absolutely. Can I ask a question about thirty thousand per school or whatever? You said it's per school. Is yeah. that it? Yeah. Is that like a well, one, well, two, three year thing, or is it a? Well, that's what I'm saying. Recurring. Year? This is probably going to have to be a part of the state budget that's recurring that helps us. Yeah. And I, I tried to get them before this happened on Monday. What I was trying to get them to do is to take our Tasser and our Seber. It, 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 we get more money from the state because we don't have a lot of industry. We don't have a lot of retail. What you were talking about earlier. Take that factor. It's, Terry, you may have looked at even more on Tasser and Seber and all that. But the Tasser and Seber, I think, is a good indicator. The more that you're able to do, the less the state pays you. Okay. Like we get, what, do they say out 75% to 80%? And some systems only get 70% uh, from the state because they've got the capability of more fiscal capacity. 
And I was very careful. If you watch my testimony, I didn't use the word physical capacity. I was going to have the events of Monday not occurred, but I did not. I just said, this is a need. And everybody agreed. Yes, Mr. Curtis, you need five instead of two. And except for the yeah. So as far as SROs, we're going to wait and see if that passes. When will we know if that passes? Do you know? I think you'll know within the next three weeks okay. before session ends. Okay. Session's going to end probably uh, mid-April, mid to late April. Okay. So like Douglas said before, we could get we can we can amend it. It must be amended. It'll be amended budget. It'll all go through. You plan on whatever. It anyway. we always but that's what that we need to look at though. If it's a this is a matching type thing because you're not going to find an SRO for thirty grand. You're just not with insurance and all that plus a car. And but the sheriff, the fact we give them one hundred fifty, he's expected just like we give. The finance department, a particular money. You guys, you guys will say it, Diane. We give the finance department a, a contribution. Trustees. We would give, yeah, trustee, thank you, director. But we give a contribution. I see this working similar to that. Don't know yet. But I think that's what we'll be like. Oh, I'm sorry. We already have two employees. That are paid directly from the sheriff. Okay. We do not. Yeah. So we, we do not do anything. There's no money that we spend on SROs. Zero. Yeah. So, now, I, I, some I, I, systems I, do. That's why we're going to get two. Right. Some right. systems. Some systems kick in and give it give a certain amount to the sheriff. So my question is: Some systems so give it all. They pay for it all. They give it to the sheriff. Then. That line item in the but in the sheriff's budget wouldn't be in their budget, or would they still contribute money? No, you can play, I'm trying to figure out if there's five and two, like if we they had to buy that five total because each okay. school, but our okay. money would add to their that's what I'm trying to say. Would their money keep back in with y'all's money to give a little extra money? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. The answer is yes, that's yeah. that's what like the saying. money they're paying now plus this. So that would give you one hundred fifty thousand money to get. Well, here's what I here's what I envision. I'm not gonna be here, but I envision that was that the sheriff would probably do one more, make it six SROs. One of those as a supervisor in position is what I'm thinking. He the sheriff needs to do that. I watched the video. I watched the video today and uh, pops and popcorn. But I thought, you know, Craig was up next. But uh, he did well. He, did, he, he didn't spend a lot of time. And he got to the point. I, I commend you. You really did well. He, oh, he, he didn't look nervous, were you? No, not a bit. I mean, I, I, testified, though, did I, I had testified. Did you get each popcorn? I had testified. I had testified. Here's the deal. I had testified in front of them before when I was a government teacher on the civics bill. And I looked at Representative Love, a black guy from Nashville. And I, I kidded with him a little bit. I said, last time I was here, Representative Love grilled me yeah. for like 15 minutes. And uh, and I looked at him, I said, I hope that's not going to happen today. And he, he kind of broke the ice. And he just nodded at me and agreed with me most. Him and Parkinson from Memphis, uh, the two African-American gentlemen, they were they were nodding with me the whole time. Except the other guy from Nashville did not. Well, Metro, I don't know if y'all saw my text, but Metro, they Hey, Mrs. Battle, Dr. Battle, they don't have this on They don't have an entry level. They don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't want it. They don't want it, though, entry level. Even after now, all we'll that. See now, we'll see now if they're going to get it. I think they'll change their mind. Yeah, they will change their mind. They see the money. But, but let, me, let me just say this. So you got 30 seconds. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let me say this one thing. Hopefully, hope the next one is longer than I am. I'll well, put it that way. I uh, probably won't be. But, uh, one thing about it, though, the attitude changed quickly after everything. So I think it's going to pass. I hope it. We get more than the fifty million. I hope it's been hundred million. I, I really do, because this is going to help for county commissioners. County commissioners, if you're listening to this podcast, uh, you want me to get one on the phone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to help their budget. It's going to help their budget too, because now that these systems have been, and there's some, some school systems that have contributed, they're paying for the SROs. They're putting the line out of their budget and sending it to the sheriff already. 
It's going to help them. That's what Michael Hayden looked at that and said, well, some of them saying it's an unfunded mandate. No, it's not. It's going to help. Help you fund, not unfund, but fund these positions across the state, whether you paid for them or not. And Hamilton County right now, they've got a shortage. That's why they're going to their private lunch, that SSO in Hamilton County, is because they're having trouble, just like what Terry said, they're having trouble getting let me tell you real quick what, what, what was really interesting about his visit and Mr. Love drilling him on three questions. He no, was, that was, no, it was another one. It was Jones. Jones it, from also, Nashville. Yeah, just, just Jones. Jones from Nashville. What he asked Freddie was, so you'd rather fund an SRO than a counselor? Exactly. Okay. He said, so you... Oh, so nurses, nurses. Nurses, counselors... Are you funding them, and then you're going to then you know, ahead of this? Are you going to put this SRO ahead of those positions? That was his drift. That was his drift, and why he didn't vote for it. And I said, "Well, we're, we're already putting funds in there. We would like to put more funds for counselors." And the nursing bill failed. I mean, it was going down one to seven fifty. It failed. And so I like to point out the nurses. Like, we need nurses. We need counselors. Absolutely. But we also, and I, the way I pointed it back at. It said, we need to keep our kids safe, number one, first. Yes. <laughs> well, good, the counselor nurse, if they're sitting there, like three people, like three students yes. were, uh, and three uh, educators were today, you know. I would yeah. rather send my kid to school knowing there's not a nurse there than knowing there's not an SRO here. I mean. I agree. Maybe you too. So. But I think that's something even if this happened, I think the commission would have been under the gun to tell them I said that. That they were going to be after what happened, it was so close. Mm -hmm. I had a parent email me and I sent it to y'all. Mm -hmm. 49 point, she figured it out 49.2 miles between Cannon North and Covenant School. Oh, oh. Okay, too close. Okay, thank you, Christian. So we're at 43.5, five teachers, one data, analyst, and one safety supervisor. Am I missing anything? So we did the counselor. Oh, thank you. No, we said data analysis over counselor right now. The counselor's been bonding that we can ditch the counselor for the moment. But if we think that we need to get one point three, I didn't know the counselor in rapidly. If we get one point three, we need more. Is there anything else you may? I know we're getting into two hours or over two hours. That was what else would be helpful. What else would you put up? I mean, anything else. Case goes for maintenance. Do we need probably all right. One more year when you do this, I'm guessing. That is something we would have to do as a board. I've got that stuff to work on. Pay scales for those that would like that are not on pay scales right now. He needs to get the job descriptions and pay scales by that point. Okay. So that's a week. Thanks for everybody heard that, right? Thanks for the assignment. We got we got something we can get to so we can get to work. Yeah. But going through line on my line on my line, I think would be a good process in the next. And you may want to, are we scheduled to meet? I didn't bring my twenty fourth. Oh, okay. So Terry, you want to talk about that? Well, I know, but I mean generally, like. What, I'm just look at each department okay, so there's a thousand more than last year. Yeah, yeah, most okay. I agree with you. Yes. Otherwise, I know it's a big jump. What was insurance? Yeah, it's up there. Yeah, it's not worth having to guess at it right now. Oh, okay, we don't know. We're thinking it's about another six percent. It's like May before we find out about insurance, right? So we just kind of have to overestimate. There's a meeting we used to always go to a neighborhood really it helps. And, and board, I will let you know. We hear anything from Nashville on certainly Douglas and I hear anything on summer, the summer programs, but I think we we're, we've we'll put it in there. I mean, we'll just put it in there. Enough money in, money out. It's, it's, it won't affect the bottom line because you will pay back for it. And you know we go, we have more boxes downstairs and we put them down there for you by, you know, more copies. Are you saying we No, no, but I'm saying you do have more boxes, so when we do that, I try to, what I'll do is I try to go and see if you've got, 
Are we adjourned? Yeah, we adjourned. Thank, Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Yeah, because when it was school board appreciation week, somebody sent an email like, oh, I put you a little something in your mailbox. And I